Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy. Welcome to Daisy update 1.18 on my experimental server. And look what we have here. This is one of the new dynamic train events. I'm just northeast of Tulga on the coast. And you can see, oh, it's really actually cool. This is the first time I've come across one. So in this video, I just want to show you how to find them. Where will they, where will they be? So you see, it spawns in this big train and this car in front of it, I guess, to show that it's been crashed. The train actually hasn't derailed or anything, which is pretty cool. Maybe one day we'll be able to jump into the clear the car, jump into the train, and then wander around. But basically, I think there might be a number of different types of train, and depending on where it spawns, you'll have different stuff into it. But basically, you, know, you open up the carriages and you can get inside and then you can kind of see what's in there. I'm um, just fairly normal stuff here. So where will the spawn? Let me just put my character somewhere safe so a zombie doesn't come along. Uh, can I come up here? No, let's get on top of the car. Right, so we can leave him there. So let's go over to um, so have a look at the files first. So this is the event the XML. So there's not many of these going to be spawning in. Um, static train. Now it's a bit. I'm not quite sure how this works because we've got a nominal of three, but when we look at the event spawned, it has a dynamic max of two. So there's probably only going to be two or three of these spawning around the map. Um, and these are the different types of train wrecks. So what it looks like to me is that each train wreck will be slightly different. So you've got train abandoned, train accident, train mill. So there's going to be these different types of trains with different stuff in them. And that is controlled by uh, this static train thing. So maybe each event is a custom event in terms of uh, the layout of the trains. It kind of has to be, doesn't it? If you think about the train has to be on the track. So they have to be laid out in a certain way. And these are the coordinates um, that these um, these events take place at. Now, another interesting thing is that the event doesn't spawn a specific child. So normally event will, will spawn like a wreck. Like So this is the Santa Christmas event. Spawns in the wreck Santa sleigh. Obviously, because each individual instance of the static train event is different, instead of having you know, 18 different um, events uh, that spawn in individual things. They're having one event that spawns in these different things, but each uh, each particular place is, is a specific thing. So that, that's quite interesting, actually. So they're going to be interesting to look at. So where are they going to be? Well, obviously, I survive. The I survive map will be putting them on when 1118 goes live. But I did go through all of the coordinates to see where they are. And on Chernerus, they're all spaced around... The, the train track that goes around the outside so you know that there's kind of this train track here that goes all the way around sort of not right to the north you kind of get these junctions that go off but all along here so if you want to find the train if you're really dedicated and want to find um a train you know just run around this train track um and you will you will find one eventually i mean the thing to remember is not that many of them spawn in but that's where they'll do. And then when 118 goes live, I survive will have a filter that you can click on and it will say train wrecks and, and you'll see where the, the possibility of where they could possibly be. But as you can see, very, very cool. I was a bit skeptical at first, but now I've actually come across one. I think they're uh, they're actually quite quite an interesting thing, isn't it? It's, um, there is an argument here about whether should you have dynamic events in DayZ? Because the thing about a dynamic event is it's it's there and then it's not there. So, you know, if, if it was the uh, zombie apocalypse, it was the infected apocalypse, if I go down the road um, up here to like Severny or some old Northwest Airfield and come back, you know, a month later, this train should still be here. <laughs> it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have moved. So you could say the same about helicopter crashes and um, things like the police cars. You know, if a helicopter crashes, then that, that wreck should be there forever, shouldn't it? I mean, unless there's a cleanup crew that goes around Chernerus and, and cleans them up. So one thing I've been thinking about is having a version of... Can I climb up? Oh, we can. Of having a, day, a version of DayZ, a server, that has no dynamic events at all. 
So take away things like the artillery strikes, take away the helicopter crashes, take away these, take away the police cars. Um, I was even thinking about whether you should take away car vehicle spawns as well, um, random vehicle spawns. But I don't know, some, something to think about. I guess it all depends on whether you think there is a, is there an outside influence on what is happening in uh, in Chernarus and Livonia in the Daisy universe, you know, obviously with the artillery strikes, we know yes, definitely is because there's organised mi military that are lobbing toxic gas shells into Chernarus to kill the uh, kill the infected. Um, but there we go, just just a thought. But that is uh, about how you can kind of find these uh, trains. Very very cool, and I'm looking forward to bumping into them in the real game. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.